Hello everybody and welcome to my third Microsoft Excel 2013 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to start using proper formulas. So there's a very important construct of a formula uh, and that is if we just start off in our cell here, uh, uh, well, in fact let's go down here to D21. Uh, and we always start off with our equals as we used in the last tutorial uh, and then we're going to type in the name of our formula now you can quite most people after a while will pretty much remember the names of all the formulas that you're going to use uh, so but you don't actually need to because what you've actually got is if you come up to the top right and click on this drop down you'll see that you've got a whole range of formulas so we've got our kind of normal basic ones and then if we click on more functions uh, we've got our most recently used and then we've, if we click on all we've actually got all the formulas in Excel that you can ever exist uh, with the exception of custom formulas because you can actually create your own but we'll get onto that later in future tutorials uh, for now I want to go through the count tutorial so if we select the count tutorial uh, count tutorial, count formula. Uh, we'll see that it's got a brief description of what it is. So, uh, counts the number of cells in a range that contains numbers. Uh, and what you'll notice is that all formulas have a name, uh, and then they have these things called parameters. And if we click around, you can see that the parameters are defined in different ways. Uh, so, if we select the count one and press OK. Uh, and then it's going to ask us for our function arguments or parameters. Uh, and you, we can keep adding in as many of these as you want. You notice as I click through them, it keeps adding more and more in. Uh, I'm just going to put the first one in. So I'm going to select this. Uh, and I'm going to select and highlight D1 uh, to D20. So you see I've highlighted an area here. Uh, and if you select one, it just does our normal reference, so D1. Uh, if you want to select all the way down to D20, then you just put a colon and then D20. So D1 to D20. And then click on the drop down here, press OK. Uh, and then you'll see that this is now put in a formula for us. So count D1 to D20. And what that has done is it's looked at the cells D1 to D20 and it's counted each cell that has a value inside it. Now, we can just type this from scratch, so this is where remembering them comes in handy. So if we type count, and then you'll see it automatically prompts you for the parameters. So here we just type D1 to D20. Uh, and that gives you a basic count formula. And again, we can uh, click on the little black square down here, and click across, and it will count in here. Notice with this count formulas, it actually doesn't count text as a thing so it's only counting the numbers if you want it to count text then you just need to change it to the counter formula and the counter formula does exactly the same thing except it will include text within it uh, there's a very quick way of doing this even quicker than typing uh, if you just select your cells like this from here and if you go to the auto sum up here and go to count numbers and you'll see that it just fills in the count for us automatically. So that's also a really quick way of doing it. Uh, and that is going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'll go through the sum formula. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you soon.